At the Natural Capital Project, we see our work on ecosystem services and values as part of a larger framework for decision making. Our framework is focused on decisions, laying out alternatives, and trying to understand how they play out in terms of ecosystem services delivered to the people that depend upon them. Historically, humans have tended to be fairly narrow-minded and conventional when it comes to the alternatives we consider. At NatCap, we believe that people can be more creative in considering a fuller range of alternatives that can lead to human well-being, and while reaching for this goal, affect ecosystems, their structure, function, and the flow of services from them that benefit people. As we examine different decision alternatives, we can use biophysical models of ecosystems to tell us a lot about the relationship between ecosystem structure and functioning and the delivery of ecosystem services to people. Next, we need to transmit this information back to decision makers through institutions and policies. Getting this information out to key people involved in making decisions helps to more fully see all the alternatives and the potential trade-offs between ecosystems, services, and human development goals. Information on the flow of ecosystem services and their values to communities and to human well-being can lead to more sustainable decisions in many different decision contexts, including spatial planning, impact assessment, permitting, and mitigation, designing payments for ecosystem services, climate adaptation and hazard mitigation, restoration planning, and corporate risk management. We're at a time where we need much more capacity and many more people who can co-develop and apply these sorts of approaches. We really need knowledge from every domain and skills from every domain. I've come to appreciate as a natural scientist how vital it is that we conduct a really good process of engaging with local people or other stakeholders to understand first and foremost what their concerns and needs are, and then come into an iterative dialogue. I'm trying to engage a, a diverse group of leaders that really can take uh, the ideas that we have and move them into the mainstream. And these are leaders in corporations, in the private sector, but also in government, from local skills to global skills, and in academia, in other research institutions. 